Hello everyone, it's Abrar with you. Today I will teach you how to remove dust from your images. This is not a big deal. When you have small dust particles on your mirror, you get such type of things on your images. So go to any professional service provider and get your camera clean. So you will not have such type of things after that. However, if you have already images with the dust spots, so I will teach you how to remove them. So in Photoshop, there are a couple of options and we will use all of them. So I have selected a couple of images for your better understanding. I will use a couple of images on all those photos. So on this image, which you can see on my screen, so I can see one, two, three, and four more visible dust particles. However, might be there are more which are not much visible. So let's go back to your layer and increase or decrease the light of the image or the contrast of the image to see if there is any more dust particle which is not visible on normal image so i think yes we have only four on this image okay let's go back to your layers and make sure you have selected the background layer so let me zoom in and then remove. First of all, I will use my spot healing tool brush tool to remove that one. We will I will also use healing brush tool later on. I will use the mark you tools and the lasso tool to remove the dust. So let's go back to the spot healing brush tool. So just increase the size according to your dust. Yes, this is better. Let's I click it and click it. In this case, the Photoshop sends what background the Photoshop has to copy and paste to that area. So that is very, very easy. And I like this very much. Let's decrease the size here. Let a bit increase, yes. And then remove it. Yes, it's gone. See this, this image is now, I can see one more here. I'm a little doubtful. Let me remove this one also. Okay, now this image is neat and clean. Let's disable this layer and see that. This image is now very neat and clean. See how easy it is to remove the dust. However, the background was very simple, so we removed it quickly. Now let's go back to the second image. This background is a little complex. Let's figure it out where is the dust and accordingly we will take this here in which tool we should use to remove the dust. Again, let me repeat the steps to increase or decrease the contrast of this image. Yes, I think this is better. I can see couple of spots. One spot is here. One spot is here. And I think one spot is here. There are C spots which I can see on this image. Let me go back and select the background layer. Let me zoom in. And now this time let me select the healing brush tool. In this example, I cannot simply click over here. So I have to first take the sample of the background and then paste. So let me increase the bar size and let me press Alt. You have to press Alt from your keyboard to take the sample. Let me click on this one first to take the sample and then, yeah, see this? So it's a little tricky, especially on the complex backgrounds. Uh, one spot is here. Let me take the sample from here and then paste. It's gone. Uh, one spot is here. This is, let me decrease the size of my brush. Let me take the sample of this cloud edge because this is also an edge. So it will sample here also. See this. So all three spots are gone on this one. Let me disable this layer and see the result. So this image is pretty much neat and clean now. Now let's move to the third image. And let me adjust it to see the dust. Yes, there are so many dust particles. Let me select the background layer. See, I can see a couple of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
eight. Oh, there are eight dust spots over there. Let me zoom in and remove all of them. This time, I will use this Eclipse Marquee tool. Let me select this area. See, I do not have feather at this stage because I do not need it here. Let me select it here too. And let me remove this also. In this example, Photoshop sends it the same way like we used this spot healing brush tool. And then Photoshop sends the background and copy it. Paste is there. Now there are two more, one and two. Let me remove this first. So let me use the rectangle tool this time. That's why you're better understanding. Otherwise, the spots are rounded, so it's better to use the round one. However, I use the rectangle one, then let's see that one. Photoshop resample this area automatically. Now this time, let me use the lasso tool. I will go with the polygon lasso tool, but make sure the feather is five. And let me remove this and it's gone photoshop resample this area very well now there is one more let me go back the spot healing tool and let me decrease the per size see this see this, how fast it is this is the fastest way to remove the dust see it's so fast this is one part which i don't need it let me remove it with the same tool and i can see one more dust here so let me go back see this this image is very much neat and clean now i can't see anything there so let me disable this go back see we can't see any dust particle over there now let's quickly move to this last image and in this image i don't see much dust might be let me increase the light first let me adjust the background for better work okay let's go back to your background layer yes i don't see dust however there are so many birds on this image so we let me remove couple of birds which i don't need in this image let's zoom in uh, okay so first of all i will use all four tools to remove the birds let me use this spot healing tool first let me go there and select the background layer let me adjust my brush accordingly this bird is gone this bird is gone this see this the cloud effect is not much affecting let's see this is on edge let me try on it see this it's not much like this looks natural so let me use another tool now the healing brush tool so let me remove this bird through this one and let me take the sample that's easy and remove this it's gone so don't see this this bird is on edge so this bird co cloud color is different and this is different so let me use uh, it's, it's little tricky for me for example let me try with this tool no it's not let me press ctrl z let me go with that way take the sample from here yeah but see these clouds you know it looks something is wrong there let me press z and go back to spot healing tool and let me select the cloud and see the effect see <laughs> how efficient it is so that uh, that is why i always like this tool and i always recommend to use the spot healing tool to remove the dust and small small unwanted objects on your image <laughs> okay now let me use this polygon lasso tool let me zoom in and select this area and delete Oh yes why it is happened because i have feather over there don't worry about this one let me go back to spot healing brush tool and sample this area see this it's gone 
so simple so let me remove this bar tool using the marquee tool or oh, marquee tool might be not effective for this one because this is bald i have to select a big area for that so it's better to go to this polygon tool because the feather is five over here so your diameter should be little bigger otherwise we will face the same issue we faced last time see this it's gone but still i can see one spot is here one is the bird feather is here and one is here no problem just use your spot healing tool to finish it off see this see how easy it is to remove the dust spots on your image i'm sure this tutorial is very helpful for you and you will be able to remove the dust from your images thank you very much for watching this if you have questions please feel free to write it down and i will give the answers once again thank you very much